Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel Lesson Plan Corner. Today in this video, we are going to see what are teaching aids and types of teaching aids, characteristics of teaching aids. But before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe my channel for more BA related videos. And yes, if you need the PDF, then please comment me yes in the comment section below. Then you will get the PDF of this video. Now let's see what are teaching aids. Okay, so what are teaching aids? So basically any equipment or any aid that has been used by teacher while teaching in classroom. Teacher uses many teaching aids. You know, there are many teaching aids available nowadays that teacher can use. Teacher can use audio visual aid as well as a mini aid like chart and model and flex chart. Everything that she is using while teaching to students is called teaching aids. Teachers should use teaching aids to make class more lively, more effective and more interesting. Okay, so a teacher can use many types of teaching aids. Okay, so she can use audio visual aids, audio aids, everything uh, she can use while teaching to students and it helps to motivate student also. If teacher is using teaching aids, then student also get attentive. They also get more interesting towards the lesson or whatever teaching teacher is teaching to them. Now, teaching aids could be in any form. Okay, it could be traditional or like blackboard and because blackboard are available in every school. Okay, and she they they can be they can use teaching aids like projector, laptop. Okay, and chalkboard is also a teaching aid and it is available in every school. It is also called multi-purpose teaching aids. Blackboard is also known as multi-purpose teaching aid because it actually is an audio visual aid that teacher can use. Sorry, it is not audio visual aid, but it is visual aid. Okay. <clears throat> Now here you can see teaching aid or uh, you know it is a globe and if you want to know how to make this globe then please comment me yes in the comment section below I will obviously tell you how to make this globe okay. So it is me with my teaching aid. Now we will see some definition of audio visual aid. So here you can see two definition that has been given by. Uh, one is given by Kinder as James and another one is given by Burton. So what Kinder as James says is audio visual aid are any device which can be used to make learning experience more concrete, more realistic and more dynamic. And Burton says audio visual aids are those sensory objects or images which initiate or stimulate and reinforce learning. So this way you have to remember definition also if you are writing about teaching aids then you need to remember this uh, to definition also. Now let's see importance of teaching aids. So obviously there are many important many types of things that we can write here. First is it makes teaching interesting. Obviously, if teacher is using teaching aids, then it brings much more impact on students. Students also get attentive and students also, you know, they get interested towards whatever teacher, teacher is teaching to them. If teacher is not using any teaching aid while te teaching to students, then uh, teacher and students will, both of them will also get bored after some time so it it actually make teaching much more interesting so that is why teachers should use teaching aid while teaching to students okay and teacher can use various types of teaching aids students get more involved when teacher uses teaching aids while teaching now second you can see here is uh, it actually motivates students okay so teaching aids motivate student to learn as it is visual and students learn with fun third is it helps students understand easily so students understand easily if teacher uses teaching aids while teaching in classroom being able to see hear and get involved in topic creates much more 
method of for learning fourth is it avoids boredom in classroom so too much relying on books can be boring to avoid boredom in classroom teacher must use teaching aids while teaching it relieves anxiety and boredom by presenting information in a new and exciting way when teacher uses any teaching aid it captures students interest okay so here you can see fifth students learn easily so if teacher will show some teaching aids while teaching to students then what happens is students actually get attentive and students learn also very easily okay now here you can see our perception about various thing is based 40% on visual 25% on audio 17% on touch 15% on other physical experience and 3% on taste and smell so this has been said by joseph j weber and he is saying here that it actually depends more on visual okay now here you can see teaching aid helps students to grab anything quickly as it creates a visual and interactive experience for students teaching aids develop a proper image of what is being taught student can see hear and touch it as well this way students learn easily as it provides direct experience to the student now we will see sixth it grabs students attention so teaching aids create visual experience it captures students attention towards itself okay so when teacher is using teaching aid while teaching to students it actually grabs student attention so what happens is when teacher is using teaching aid in class while teaching to students teacher it it actually grabs student attention how because teacher is showing something practically to students if just teacher is just explaining them without help of any teaching aid then it will not be very much effective and if teacher is showing teaching aids to students then you know teach, uh, students will also become much more interested towards what teacher is teaching to them now seventh is it gives direct experience so this way students also is getting direct experience you know because if teacher is showing suppose if we say if teacher is trying to show them globe okay but if she but if she is showing globe at the same time then it will be very much easier for student to understand that concept now we will see types of teaching aid here you can see uh first is a visual aid that we can see through our eyes examples are pictures charts maps flash cards bulletin boards chalkboard etc second you can see here audio aids that we can hear from our eyes uh, sorry ears that is example is radio tape recorder gramophone and third is audio visual aid means it is a mixture of both and example are television film projector film strips and it is much more effective than the rest of two okay now let's see principle of teaching aids first is principle of selection so if teacher is deciding to show some uh, you know a teaching aid then she should select it before showing it to student it should not be uh, useless and it should be relevant to the topic suppose if she is if she is explaining uh, the students about earth and if she is not showing the teaching aid that is relevant to that then it will be of no use it would be useless so it should be uh and the yeah, principle of selection, selection must is be based most. second on is principle of preparation teaching and topic teacher should okay. prepare them second is principle of preparation to students so before okay. teaching teacher should do prepare. rehearsal also before presenting it before in front of students third you can see here is principle of presentation by presenting any teaching aid in front of students teacher must be aware of its effectiveness usefulness and many other aspects teacher must make sure that all aid must be relevant to topic it should be displayed properly so that it could be visible to whole students means teacher should prepare first then after that she should uh, uh, present it before students okay because there could be some technical error also so that is why she has to present everything 
uh, uh, she has to prepare herself in uh, you know before showing it showing it in front of students uh, okay fourth you can see what we can see here is principle of physical control so arrangement should be there to keep it safely in the classroom okay fifth is principle of response Okay, so what is principle of response? Teacher should guide students to respond also at the same time. Now we will see characteristics of teaching it. First is, is it should be relevant as we have learned before that it should be relevant to the topic. Second is it should be useful and effective. It should be large enough to be seen by whole students. Okay, and it should be upgraded and updated. It should be according to mental level of students. and it could explain everything nicely it should be affordable means it should not be very much costly that students and teacher cannot afford it so no it should be under budget it should be affordable okay so this was my video on teaching aids and if you need the pdf then please comment me yes in the comment section below you will get the pdf of this video okay so this was my video if you like this video then please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel i have an another channel named nutan online study you can subscribe that also okay now we will meet in next video and till till then bye bye and take care